You look like Hello. a very presentable Hello. young man. Thank you. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you guys are ready. Mm -hmm. right, we are ready, to, ready as anything. Ready to roll. Ready? Go! And I'm sitting here with the stars of Hector and the Pursuit of Happy. Oh, I'm sorry. Hector <laughs> and the Search. Can we roll that again? It's like a mashup. Guys, you work together. You were great in. This is, oh my goodness, I am so sorry. <laughs> this is uh, the world very end. bad. The world Once upon a time, there was a young psychiatrist called Hector. He took comfort in the rich patterns of his life. Look at my life. Look at my life, my life, my life. Are you happy? You're breaking up with me, aren't you? <laughs> No. You can't no. just come out with a question like that. You I... have to build up to it. You worked together on The World's End last year. You were terrific together. I was wondering, uh, was it easy to get back into a groove even though you're playing very different characters? Yes, Sam Wolf, yes. with the name of a secret agent. Uh, it was very easy. We, we're we friends, so yeah. you know, working with your friends is always a bonus because you have... There's there's, it's no, there's nothing but ease to it, you know? And, you're um, out of your, your home element. You know, we were yeah. in Vancouver and it felt very nice to sort of... Have a buddy. Yes, get back together and have a buddy, exactly. And also play a different relationship, because in the world's end, Gary and Sam are like this... I mean, they're not a couple. They're, Gary thinks they are, <laughs> because they had a little tryst like 20 years ago. But in this one, they're the opposite of that. They're a couple that are so, you know... Codependent. Depend, codependent <laughs> that they're, they're in, almost indiscernible from each other, you know. And so you mentioned you were shooting in Vancouver, but yes. it is about searching for happiness around the world. Uh, mm -hmm. Simon, where did the production take you? Uh, well, we started off in the Couve, obviously. Love Vancouver, because I'm a big snowboarder, so I like to sneak up the mountains and not tell production. production. Uh, then we went to London, then we went to South Africa, <laughs> then China, then Tibet, then Germany, Austria, LA, Ladakh. A couple of those were second unit I didn't go, but I went to uh, everything but Ladakh and LA, weirdly enough. Really? The stuff in LA was actually Vancouver. Camp Vancouver. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, if you had to pick a favorite place, uh, which would it have been? Johannesburg. I, I, I found South Africa inspiring, and um, I felt a great sort of, uh, I don't know, I felt very, a bit sort of, like, a bit like a hippie there. I felt quite <laughs> spiritual, and I'm not like that. And so it is sort of a co-lead picture, but uh, Rosamund, you're kind of having a banner year for yourself. You've got Hector yeah. premiering in North America this month, and then Gone Girl in October. Uh, has there been a lot to keep up with? Yes, it's it's all, I mean, you know, that does happen, doesn't it? Suddenly everything comes at once, which is nice. It's, I mean, it's a nice sort of counter-program if yeah. I was going to... You know, if anyone's going to be alarmed by what they see with Gone Girl, then they can go and be reassured by... Like, Your versatility will be on this place this <laughs> fall. But um, it was lovely to do a film like this because, you know, Peter Chelsea is a director who has been an actor himself and who really sort of wants to work with you. You know, he wants to work with who you are and he kept sort of saying to Simon, well, you do a better impression. Or Simon, or Simon, or <laughs> Simon. That was <laughs> his direction to me. He'd sort of say more of you and it was... You know, as an actor, you're quite nervous of that because generally you want to play a character, you want to sort of lose yourself, but to sometimes get to explore something that is you and be allowed to sort of yeah. bring some of your own well, we um, certainly, spirit to it is fun as well. When we're, do when we're doing scenes when we're having to be sort of like sitting there as a comfortable couple together, we were able to draw on our own sort of, you know, <laughs> comfortability with each other, which is easy, you know. Yeah, it's, it's nice and we sort of... You know, it's nice to do a scene where you're in your dressing gowns with your glasses on and it's sort of nerdy and it's, you know, you feel comfortable <laughs> enough to present another image, really, and it's, it's yeah. good. Um, but you spend most of the film uh, apart, either talking over the phone or on Skype. Is that sort Skype. of a challenge as an actor to work over but it's, the it's, internet? It's nice to do Skype because it's yeah. so much part of our lives and to get to the freedom of what a Skype call gives you, which is, you know, Peter says, do anything you want. You leave the room go out of frame, come into an extreme close-up, you know, you sort of govern it yourself. And I was there, when we did Ros Rosamund's side of the Skype calls, I was there in another room, and then I literally had a, a, a file on my computer with all of Rosamund's <laughs> Skype calls, which I just watched over and over again <laughs> to get the kind of interaction back. Particularly the one yes. with the underwear, I couldn't get that one right. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a memorable one, yeah, that's for sure. I couldn't seem um, to nail that one for some reason, I kept getting distracted. Anyway, you know, it's an actor's uh, uh, burden. <laughs> and uh, Simon, right now you're working with uh, Chris McQuarrie on the new Mission Impossible. And I am. Rosamund, you worked with him on Jack Reacher. Yeah. Any chance we could maybe get all three together, perhaps for Jack Reacher <laughs> 2? Or... You, you, you tell him, you tell him. I did get a message actually from Tom and uh, Chris to say hi to Rosamund. Uh, um, both both smitten with her, of course, as is everyone that meets her. And uh, uh, yeah, that would be fun. It's great. That would be good, wouldn't it? They're that good guys, nice. aren't they? Yes, yeah. that would be a fun. Yes, then I get to work out with Tom's personal trainers again, which would be yes. interesting. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, good grilling. one last thing. Uh, so it is a film about finding happiness. So yeah. for you guys, uh, is there something you like to do in order to inspire that feeling? Well, I mean, we keep we keep coming back to this yeah. really that you know you there are plenty of things that if you're happy in yourself can sort of ignite that sort of pure euphoria. But if you haven't got it inside before, nothing can actually make you happy. That's the that's the sort of we're led conundrum. To believe, yeah, we're constantly led to believe that you can make yourself happy, but you can't really. It's something that has to you have to find it, and and it sounds awfully sort of hallmark uh, meaningless. But you do have to kind of be happy somewhere deeper down and then you can enjoy going for a walk on a fall day or you know swimming in the sea or whatever so yeah happiness is something you experience along the way it's not something you chase we should concern ourselves not so much with the pursuit of happiness but with the happiness of pursuit You mean happiness? Everybody wants a penis, but you cannot hold a penis. It's elusive. The How was this is the end, anyway? Was uh, it a good no, movie? That was great. <laughs> was it? I should find your opinion on that.